I didn't know when I was younger, growing up in Salt Lake, that there was such a thing as art school or like you could be an artist. When I moved to San Francisco was when I really started to realize that this was um, a possibility making artwork. I knew that I wanted to do art and education. I didn't know what that looked like, but I knew I liked those two things. That set me off into wanting to apply to Berkeley for my MFA because they offered a teaching opportunity your second year. So I knew that I wanted to do both and that's kind of how I got into it. The first time that I saw Enrique Chigoya's work, I think it's called like the Alien series or something, or like the, no, it's called that Illegal Aliens Guide to the Universe. So it was formative because it was the first time that he was addressing like that idea in visual art and I was seeing it represented. And that was my citizenship condition then. Like I saw that and I was like, what? Like this is, this was awesome. That was one of those moments where I was like, all right, then this is, this can be done. Like I can, I can also participate in this because I saw myself in the work, like literally without even knowing it until very, very late in the game. I was like, I'm this, I'm like recreating a quadlique sculpture, you know? And I was like, who are the quadliquos in my life? My mom, my aunt, my grandma. Quadlique is this huge stone, fierce, sculpture of this multi-headed snake with hearts in her hand with like large breasts with like multiple arms multiple surfaces multiple dimensions it's just such an imposing thing she's the mother of all she is the creator of life and destroyer of life and so um every time i go to mexico and see i go to the, the anthropology museum and go to look at that sculpture i'm just like it, it's just been dollars in mind at first it was this like this spirit this deity that they had created then it became, when they found it, they uncovered it, it became this like kind of source of shame and embarrassment. They hid it away. Nobody wanted to look at it. They chose to hide away. And now it's a national monument. It continues to like be used in different ways. And it's such a life sort like force, you know, like you can still tap into it, like pull some brush from down. A lot of my work is kind of small sometimes. Sculptures are intimate size. Um, paintings are intimate size. I really like making that kind of work. Is I think it's uh, part of the reason is because that's what I was when I had when my studio was my room. That was all I had room for. Um, little making little paintings. So I feel like I just got really comfortable with that format. You got to make it work however you can. If that means that it's, you have to have two jobs to sustain your art practice, like people do that, you know, for that reason. They're the labor of love, really.